the day is finally upon us hello everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl the cartoon hotspot over here and today as promised i said i was going to be reacting to carmen san diego season four the fourth and final season of carmen san diego i'm getting emotional already it's been like a great two-year ride and i've seen on my twitter and everything on social media that carmen san diego season four is an amazing season so i can't wait to watch it i'm gonna be reacting to the first episode of carmen san diego um probably the fifth the sixth the seventh and the eighth because most of my followers told me that those are the most important episodes what the most plot filled episodes so the episodes i don't react to so these um, episode two and episode three and four I'll just briefly mention what happens in them when I do react to episodes 5, 6, 7 and 8. Before we get into this video, make sure to subscribe down below because this many of you are watching my videos but aren't subscribed. Like You might as well subscribe down below if you keep coming back to watch my videos. Help me out and hit that notification button. Let's begin. <laughs> First episode. And it's another rocking night at the opera. Graham Calloway. Before I answer that, mates. Okay, so I like this. Continuation. Continuity. Come with us. So that's Acme going in for Grey. Because in recap from season three, the very end of season three, episode five, I believe, Acme said they had their sights on Grey. So love how season four immediately starts off with that. Absolutely necessary. Unlike Neil the Eel, I was never actually taken into custody, thanks to these five Is fellas. Is his memory going to be wiped? Honestly, I don't even like roundabout myself, so I really care. I really care if his memory gets wiped. Expected relapses. <gasps> Even though I have other smashing capers in play, our gold initiative in Beijing is prepped. Good I for you. You deserve it. Of... What happened to Neil? If you were considering Neil. Neil the eel got his memory wiped as well. <laughs> Tea will soon be served, Unagi. Just sat down to tea. You think? Whoa. <laughs> what? The tea is spiked. Tea ceremony is a far cry from a Tokyo night. Yes, yeah, Shadow San. Honestly, Shadow San has become one of my favorite characters. Hands down. I see. Wait a minute. So you what? CIA? Interpol? Consider us all of the above. Except they don't know we exist. He then hasn't you got a no clue, comment. like. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Oh my gosh. You know what I think is going to happen now? Because he mentioned you must know Carmen. He's probably going to say, oh, but Carmen's actually this good person. Basically, he's going to be like, no, Carmen San Diego has always had the world's best interests. And then Acme are going to be like, I don't know what you're talking about, but Carmen San Diego is the bad guy good guys wait she doesn't work with you what's your game there is no game but okay Acme, this chief really infuriate infuriates me a lot like if graham is telling you she's good it's n <laughs> oh this gets me so annoyed carmen is good why can't you see that Shadowsan, no. No. No, 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 no. Stay strong, stay strong. What? Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. The pin prick will quickly subside. Ah. 
coming. Hurry up and find him. Find him. Find him. Oh my gosh. I just want to say she's one of the strongest people I know. Channel son. He definitely broke his leg. Or his knee. Or whatever it was. Shadow-san is injured now, meaning Carmen is basically alone, like, to fight off Vile or Acme or whoever she's fighting against. So that puts her at a, at a disadvantage. In one of the next episodes, um, Play is also at school. So again, a further disadvantage. So this girl has to do it on her own. I can already tell the season's going to be really good. They're still questioning this dude. And? We ran every flinch, twitch, and nose hair through crime net. He's telling the truth, ma'am. <sighs> Your agents literally said Grey is telling the truth. They ran so many security checks and whatnot, and she still thinks that Carmen is bad. This is the worst and the dumbest chief of an organization I've ever come across. What is wrong with her? Like, she's so blinded by her hate for Carmen San Diego, she's literally becoming vile. Wait, I didn't even realize. I didn't even realize Chief was there in person. Like, I was just focused on Gray, and I was just so annoyed that I forgot she was actually there in person and not a hologram. It. Maybe I'm ready to listen. <gasps> It is him! You know this man? We first spotted him meeting Carmen at a cafe in Sydney, Australia. During your leave of absence. He is the one I told you about. He was on the train to Paris the night I first encountered La Femme Rouge. I brought him in for questioning, but he vanished into thin air. He may very well be the missing link to... Okay. Instead of letting him go, because of Devino's like, revelation, um, they're going to actually keep Grey there instead. Because Chief was planning on letting him go and w letting him walk free. But because of Devino's revelation, um, they're not going to let him go anytime soon. Okay, that was the first episode of Carmen San Diego season four. Not too climactic, but... I still have high hopes. Like I said at the start of the video, I'll be reacting to episode 5, 6, 7 and 8. And those videos will probably be up by Sunday, Monday. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe down below. Other than that, I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!